So the, the, the previous video showed how to create a, an activity task and do follow-ups from a call. Know that when you come into your home page, you'll see my tasks here. You can also get them from uh, the Tasks tab up top. Um, and you have links to either the contact or the opportunity. Uh, that just depends on how many additional activities others may be having with Tina or you may be having with Tina that are scheduled or, uh, or with the... Um, the opportunity itself. So we're going to go in on the opportunity to see what we can uh, we can learn. Um, this shows me that I have a uh, my next step is to is whether or not there's been a response to an email follow up to a good conversation. Uh, I can uh, take a look at uh, what was the email that was sent, and I can see the full email and and who it was sent to. Um, I can also then look at uh, the original notes, and because I use an asterisk in the first position, that tells me it's a signal that, that there is additional content worth looking at. Uh, if otherwise, when I'm looking at messages, you may others may have logged that you inherited. If it's just beating or call, that doesn't tell you much, and you end up having to dive in, and you, you may find, in fact, there are some really great messages. Here's one that talks about decision criteria and buying process. Uh, but if I didn't know to look there, I wouldn't. Um, so what I'm going to do is to go back to my uh, my email message and say, okay, this is the message that I sent to her. So I'm going to, and I can look and see there's other folks I may want to call or be in touch with or text or voicemail or do whatever the, the outreach is. Uh, what I've done is, let's say I've I've just called Tina and, and left a voicemail for her, just asking to, to reconnect when we can. So what I'm going to do is to copy um, just a bit off the subject line here. Then I'm going to uh, use the, the Alt tab feature to, to go over to my, to my Gmail. I'm going to paste in uh, that little fragment. I'm going to find that here's a message that I sent to her. Um, so I'm now going to... Uh, forward that message. Or actually, I'm going to reply, right? Because I want to reply to everybody that I sent to. So I'm going to reply. Then I'm going to enter a message that I want to send to her. Uh, I'm as a follow-up right here. I'm asking for time later in the week. I'm going to send this message. Uh, what I'm then going to do is to drop out to my. Uh, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to forward. Um, kind of this message, actually, right? Because this is the one that I just did. So I'm going to forward this message. I'm going to do uh, Control-A to copy everything, select all, and then Control-C to copy it. Returning to my opportunity, rather than uh, create an additional history record that I just sent another message, and that's part of the challenge of what email automation does, is what I want to do is just to to edit this message, and what I'm able to do is to come down here, uh, drop in, again do a Control A, uh, paste in my new message, and if I drag down, what I'm going to see here is that I have uh, this is in fact the 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 the, the forwarded message, and um, so what I'm going to do here it's still completed. I'm going to update the to-do date, or the date that was completed was today. And then what I'm going to do is throw in here a 310 uh, read that message. I'm going to save that message. Since I do want to create a follow-up task, I'm going to click follow-up task. I'm going to paste in my note here which was, again, the full note uh, that was sent today, right? Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to put this as in progress. I'm going to say here this is a response to. I'm going to put a date in here of, of next Thursday, and I'm going to save that. Then I'm going out to the opportunity record, and what I need to do is to delete off the second message, the today message. And so what I'm going to do is to go in here and say the message that was today I'm going to delete, and I'm going to say delete that. And then returning to my opportunity record one more time, what I can do is look at my timeline and see that what I've got is uh, uh, just a single message, and it's all clean. 
Thanks for listening, and really do try this.